Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a plugin called the P3 Plugin Profiler to figure out which plugins could be affecting your site speed in a negative way. And it's a really useful tool. As you know, the more plugins a site has, the more chance there is that your site loads slowly. So it's a good idea to, if you have a lot of plugins, even if you have a few. So if you're working on improving your site speed, it's a good idea to check out if plugins are affecting your load times. And if they are, or if there's a specific plugin that's causing a serious load time problem, either remove it, figure out another one that does the same thing, or figure out how to change that plugin that you have uh, to make it go faster. So here we are on our website dashboard. And the first thing we have to do is install the P3 plugin. To do that, we go to plugins on the left and click on add new in the search bar. Just type in P3, hit enter, and it's the very first one you see, P3 Plugin Performance Profiler. It is by GoDaddy, of all people. They don't create too many WordPress plugins, but they've created this one. Click the Install Now button, click on Activate Plugin, and then under the Tools menu, we now have a new entry called P3 Plugin Profiler. Click on that. And here we are on the profiler page. Now this plugin is very simple as far as options go. Really the only option you have is start scan and there's some advanced settings which are not too important. You can just keep the, the ones that you have that are set by default. And when you're ready to rock and roll on this scan, just click the start scan button. Give it a name. I'm going to call this scan one. You can't have any spaces in here. Notice when I, when I add a space, these buttons gray out and I can't click them. So you can't have a space and just click on auto scan. I'm going to pause this video. I'll be right back when the scan is done. The scan is now complete and we have a view results button that shows up. We click on that and it will show us the results. Now yours will probably look a whole lot different than these ones, but as you can see it, this pie chart is very handy. It shows which plugins are the slowest to load. The ones with the biggest chunk of the pie are the slowest plugins. And this purple one is a Fusion Core plugin, which is part of the Aveda theme that we're running. So that is actually one of the slowest plugins to load. Next, the Revolution Slider is also required for the Aveda theme, also slow to load. And slow is kind of a relative term, 0 0.0458 seconds is not that slow. But compared to the no plugin loading, 0 0.01 seconds. So this is four times longer this one is five times longer for the WordFence security plugin. But these are all relative. If you see a plugin that takes five seconds to load or three seconds to load, then you have a real issue. And that is the first tab of the results. As you can see, we have, we have a whole bunch of tabs. And if we click on the next one, detailed breakdown, it shows us at the very top, this horizontal line is the site load time. So we're coming in at Yes, you got to have a right in the right spot to see it. We're coming in at 0.7 seconds for the site load time, which is really good. And the one that's contributing the most is the theme, which is the Aveda theme. That one's taking the longest to load. Second longest to load is WP Core files. Third longest is what we saw earlier, the, the, uh, the Fusion Core plugin. And so if you see an anomaly here, if you see something that's, that's a huge spike in load time, you need to look into why it's taking so long to load and whether you can fix that. And if you can't fix it, you have to look into replacing that component of your website. If you look at the simple timeline tab, it compares for us the WP core time, the theme time, and the overall plugin time. And again, if one of these is spiking very large, then you need to look into why that's happening. We look at a more detailed timeline and it adds in all the plugins at the bottom. If we look at the query timeline, it shows us the number of queries that are being sent to the database and which pages are making all those queries. So if you hover over these dots, the home page is making 64 queries when the home page loads. The uh, search page, search results page, 76 queries. WP Admin Ajax, which is loaded on any uh, dashboard page in the back end of your WordPress site, 32 queries. 
the tag forward slash photo 83 queries. So you get the idea. But you can go through and see which pages are causing a lot of queries or generating a lot of queries. If there are huge spikes in query number, look into why the database is being queried so much and possibly try to reduce that. And then if we go to the advanced metrics tab, we see the advanced metrics, which are another way to nail down which part of your site, site's loading sequence is really slowing it down. So the site load time, 0.7 seconds. The profile overhead, which is also 0.7 seconds, is actually the P3 profiler itself that's running while the page loads. So we have the total site load time up here at 1.4 seconds, but if we subtract the additional load time the profiler is causing during its scan, we actually land at 0.7 seconds, which is load time that we saw earlier as being our load time. As you go through each of these line items, you will see if any of these are causing abnormal long load times. So if the plugin load time is high, figure out which plugin it is. You can do that by going to the runtime by plugin tab and you can identify which plugin is causing the load time and try to figure out why it's taking so long. Google it, see if anybody else has had the problem and maybe found a solution or found another plugin that does the same thing that's a lot faster to load. The theme load time, now that one is more difficult because it's the developer's job to make sure the theme loads at an appropriate time interval. But there are so, still some tweaks you can do to your theme or some additional plugins you can get to help your theme load a little bit faster. So I really encourage you to make sure that your site is loading as quickly as possible because that is now an SEO ranking factor in Google and it's great for user experience. So in this video, I showed you how to use the P3 plugin profiler to figure out which plugins, if any, are causing slow load times on your site so that you can take action and fix that slow load time. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video if it helped you, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our social media feeds, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.